Okay, good morning. We're making a breakfast skillet. These are all of our ingredients. So let's start by putting the onion in the frying pan, please. So we started putting the red onion. Pan with some oil in it. Uh, olive oil. And we have it heated at five. Out of ten. That's right. So more of the white onion. This is next. Hold it. Yes, please. We have potatoes boiling over here. We're going to parboil them and then eventually add them to the pan. Everything gets cooked in the pan together, just in different stages, ending with the egg. Uh, well, what we need to do is add some seasoning to these onions and just let them cook. So what we chose today, we're gonna use this Greek blend, chili powder, chili flakes, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. So we're basically cooking this at medium. Yeah, add a few shakes of that. And we're looking for the onions to start to sweat and become translucent. And that's when you know that they're cooking well. Okay, that's good. Great. Paprika is for later. So we move around the onions. They're looking cute. Okay, so we're gonna add the protein, I guess? Sausage? Hot dog? <laughs> what did we pick today? Hot dogs. Dogs? Uh oh, hot dog. We're gonna fry those up. This is very East Coasty, right? Because it's kind of like having bologna for breakfast, right? But it's really delicious when they get all like brown and they kind of expand. <clears throat> kind of like a roasted hot dog on a peanut butter. Yeah, and you're adding spices to it. Like, no shade. I think hot dogs are great. I know they don't have a good reputation, but... Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna let this go for a bit. Um, we need to check the potatoes that we've been boiling. We parboiled them. We just need to fork them. We need to fork one. Just to yeah. see if they're soft enough, essentially. So yeah, give it a go. Maybe it's soft enough. I don't know how soft it's supposed to be. Well, you said before that we that when we've done this that we haven't cooked them enough. So do you think that... I'd like to overcook Okay, so let's put the heat back on that. Put them back on high. Excellent. And we're just gonna let this chill. We will be adding tomatoes next to the frying pan, but things cook in different speeds. So we don't wanna like add the tomatoes too early and then get too mushy or weird. Now we just wait. These are coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smells good. I'll tell you what. I think that's almost done frying. And then this is probably done. Ow. Fuck. Whoa. 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 Okay. Ah. Steam machine. Woo! Say that again. So we took this off the heat to while we waited for the potatoes to finish. So we're gonna get this up to sizzling again and then add the potatoes. Okay. Okay? And then to the tomato as well. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna finish off this in the oven. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. You'll see why. We're grating cheddar cheese. 
We have our eggs. Lots of cheese, yeah. Yes. I'm very shaky. So we've got things spread out and it's starting to sizzle, so now we're going to add the tomato. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. In the meantime, I sure had a buttload of cheese. We're going to put that in at some point. We're also going to add some more of the spices that we chose. The meal, so we're going to add more Greek, more chili powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. It's cheese time. Okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna use all the cheese this second, but we're gonna put some in now and mix it around. Yeah. And gooey. This is kind of like a kitchen sink breakfast. Or like, to me, if you have like a protein, or even just potatoes, potatoes and a cheese and a protein of some kind. And if you like eggs or not, add eggs, and it'll always taste good at the end. No matter what the ingredients are. Okay, that's looking lovely. So the next step now is we're gonna make four kind of little, um, holes, I guess? Little wells to crack four eggs. Right here and here. That's kind of even-ish, right? So we're gonna now crack four eggs in, in here. Yeah, I can There, anyway, here, one, three, four. I'm gonna crack four eggs in now. Okay, I'm gonna do it the way how I do it. Don't go back to Hi, Mom. And then the last spot. Ooh, bang. Oh, well, you know what? I was trying to have four complete yolks, but two out of four. up on the plate anyway, so if we just put this in the spot, and then cheese, the rest of our cheese, a little less, sprinkled, things, I'm going to keep the eggs um, exposed a little, so they get cooked from the top. Green onion. 
bitty. Um, okay. And then I need salt and pepper. So where's, where are they at? you feel it out it, it's it depends on how well you want your eggs cooked you know what i'm saying so the eggs are going to bake in there and everything's going to kind of get crispy and hang out and bake and get hot instead of just frying from the bottom um so <clears throat> huh 15 minutes maybe i don't know how it depends if, okay, you, okay, yeah. if you want a running egg you know all right what Put it in for 10, see how you feel. You can always hit it with some broil. For sure. To finish up the top, to make it super crusty. But I just watch it. Like, I just check every couple minutes. I'm just an anxious, I love just sitting and watching it as it cooks. So ooey gooey. There. Two eggs each, eh? Looks great. These are your two. This is your half. Okay, before we serve, we're just gonna put some paprika on. I forgot to put it in during the oven stage. Yeah. We have, <coughs> we have the bagels ready for mine. I put mayo on one, a little bit too much on one area, but that's okay. And then butter on the other. And I'm just gonna lay down here. Yep. So Thank you. 